Out of all the videos on YouTube, there isn't a single one telling you how to make animated custom wheels like these. Or these. And these. And also... <clears throat> and these. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna teach you today. Let's go. Unfortunately, you can only do this on Steam, so... Xbox, PlayStation, Epic Games, I'm sorry. The only reason why we're able to do this is because we're using Bakke's mod, which is only Steam. It might be coming to Epic Games soon. I don't know about that. Follow the Bakke's mod Discord to get updates on that. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and start. Like I was saying, you need Bakke's mod. Bakke'splugins.com, go ahead and click the Bakke's mods tab, and then you'll just click download Bakke's mod. It'll download and zip, you unzip it, and then you just run the application. And you're pretty much done with Bakke's mod. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open Bakke's mod, and now what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go back to Bakke'splugins.com, and you're going to go ahead and just look for Alpha Console. You'll see it on the homepage, Alpha Console for Bakke's mod. So go ahead and click on Alpha Console, and then you want to click Install with Bakke's mod, okay? You, this is why you want Bakke's mod open in the background. If anything pops up on your screen that's like Chrome related, just go ahead and hit OK and then it will start to work. You basically want this command looking box to come up and then you want it at the bottom to say plugin will be installed the next time you launch the game. Believe it or not, that's all the downloading you need to do. So before we actually get creative and start making our wheel, I need to talk about one thing. Do not skip this part. Alpha Console recently released this whole new wheel customization update. It's literally only been out for a few days. And so far, you can only customize the looper wheel. And the looper animation is actually a total of 16 frames that loop. So it's a, it's a never-ending loop of 16 frames that's important to know. So we can only create a wheel that is 16 frames. So now that we know that, we're going to start. I went ahead and loaded up my Photoshop. So I'm creating a new file that's a square. And the pixels are 512 by 512. Look at my beautiful square. I need to unlock my square. So you see this little lock? Go ahead and click that. And now we need to turn this square to the color black. Go to color overlay. You see the little box with the color. Go ahead and make it black. We now need to make a perfect circle. Go ahead and go to our shape tool. It's right here, this little box. You need to left click and hold. Keep holding and then hover over the circle and then let go of your left click. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to white for the circle so it's easier to see over here. To create the circle, make sure you just hold shift and then left click and drag and then you just drop it down. I'm going to go ahead and center it a little bit and then I'm going to just raise the size a little bit here. So make sure you're using the quick selection tool and then you just want to left click and then just throw your mouse around in the middle and it will completely perfectly select the circle. And then you want to go ahead and then select our black box, hit select and mask, okay, and then you just want to invert it. Make sure you have everything set to zero so you don't screw anything up and then just hit OK. I'm going to go ahead, select the circle, and just delete it. And now this is our overlay that we're going to use. Go ahead and export this overlay to wherever you want. Now it's time for Premiere Pro. Oh my god, we're in Premiere Pro. Go ahead and import your overlay into the new project and then just throw your overlay onto the timeline. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on our timeline. You can see there's 15, that number right there, that is 15 frames. So we're going to go to that. You can see there it's 15. I'm going to go over one to the right with the arrow key on the keyboard. Then I'm just going to go ahead and just crop the rest out. So now we're just left with 16 frames. As you can see, this is going to be the total length of time for our looping wheel. It is now time to get creative. We need some sort of perfectly looping GIF. So we're going to go to the internet. I'm going to look up looping GIF in images on Google Chrome and find something. I won't be using this exact GIF. Uh, but this would be a really good example that could possibly be a really good wheel. This is the one I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and throw my overlay up one on our timeline so that we can put our GIF below it. Drag and drop it onto our timeline underneath the overlay. As you can see, our GIF is way longer than 16 frames. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink it down using the rate stretch tool. Uh, if you have another video program, uh, you're going to have to figure out how to basically speed it up until it's 16 frames. Make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline here. So now we need to go ahead and export every single frame. So I'm going to go select a folder. Uh, I'm just going to name it sick. This is just what my wheel name is going to be called. So, and then I need to change this to one for the first frame. And then I need to go over two, go over three and pretty much rinse and repeat until you do this for every 16 frames and 16. Okay. So now we have every single frame exported. It is time to go back to Photoshop. Now that we're back in Photoshop, it's time to make a new square. Remember, it's the same 512 by 512. I'm going to go ahead and open up our Bakke's mod. And from Bakke's mod, you want to hit File and then open the Bakke's mod folder. So this is going to be really easy. Go to Data, AC Plugin, and then go down to Wheel Textures. 
Um, you won't see any of these other wheels because, well, these are the ones that I've made. You're only going to see texture package and AC terminal. Go ahead and click and drag AC terminal into our new project. This will act as our template. Okay, so now go over to place embedded, you know, file place embedded. This is importing and we're going to import our frames one by one. So start with one and then with one, you see this quick selection tool in your toolbar. Go ahead and select it. And what this is going to allow us to do is going to select, make sure you're on plus. I forgot that. Make sure you're on plus, not minus. Um, so yeah, now you want to basically left click and drag inside of our, uh, our picture and it'll basically create a perfect circle. This is what the overlay was for. So it doesn't select the white. With our first frame selected, go up here and hit select and mask and then just hit OK. And you want to do this for every single frame. I went ahead and exported every single frame as you can see. So now it is time to move our frames into their corresponding spots with the template. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to hit number 16 here, this is the 16th frame. Scroll down and then hold shift and left click on the first frame, this will select them all. With everything selected, use your selection tool, left click on our actual image, and then go ahead and hit control T. This will go ahead and open up the transform tool, and from here you want to size it down and then basically align it perfectly with the first one, or the top left. Okay, now that we have every single one of our frames on the first frame slot, we need to start moving things over. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 16 and then hit 2. You don't want to hit the first one because you want the first one to stay in that slot. So as you see, as we move over with 2 through 16, we're leaving the first frame in the first frame slot. So now we want the second frame to stay there. So we're going to hit 16 and then hit 3. And then we're going to move all of these over to the third slot. You see how we're kind of doing this? So you want to do this and you want every single one of the frames in the corresponding spot. So 1 through 16. So I went ahead and put every single one of our frames in the corresponding spots, 1 through 16 as you see on screen. So I'm going to go ahead and group every single one of our frames, so just select them all, and you see this little new folder, go ahead and hit that, it'll basically just create it into its own little folder group, it's just easier to move around. So as we move our group underneath of our actual like template here, um, you'll see it isn't really perfectly aligned, but it, this shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and export this. As you can see, we need a completely transparent background. I want to make sure I'm exporting it to our wheel texture folder. You remember how to get there through the Bakke's mod. So you can see I have my exported image here. This is our wheel. So we need to go ahead and copy the textures package. Copy. Paste. And then I'm going to rename this to the same thing as our image. So I'm going to open it up. This is a notepad. This is the code that makes it work. This is the name. This top line is the name. So I'm going to name it sick. This is just the wheel. You can name this whatever you want. This doesn't really matter. Um, but this does. Okay, this code does. You want to make sure you get this right. Okay, so you want to change acterminal.png to whatever you named your exported image. So capital S sick. Capitals do matter. Uh, sick. And then you want to change this one to sick.png. Basically, we just want to reroute the code to your image instead of the AC plugin. And then just file, save like I just did, close it out. We're ready for Rock League. Make sure you have Baki's mod open. Double click Rock League. Let's go look at our wheel. All right, if you don't have the regular looper wheels in your inventory, uh, just go ahead and hit F2 with uh, Baki's mod open and you're going to go to items, make sure it's enabled. And then for wheels, just click it and then type looper and then hit enter. It'll come up, okay? So now you have looper wheels on. Make sure they're not painted. And then to open up the alpha console menu, go ahead and hit F5. This will bring it up. Go over to cosmetics. And this is all your texture files, okay? So you want to go down to wheel textures. And then you want to find the one that you made. So, uh, sick. And then sick. 